Hello guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to create an accordion menu in Wix. So if you're interested, let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you exactly create an accordion menu here on Wix? Well, creating an accordion menu in Wix is uh, actually uh, pretty easy, but it's just hidden on a very specific functionality here. So first things first is you want to go ahead and just go to Wix.com and just basically log in into your account. But once you've logged in in here, we want to go and access our website that we want to maybe add our accordion menu here. So in this case, you want to go ahead and choose your website here. Just go and choose maybe this one. Click on select site. And we want to go ahead and basically access our editor here. Let's go and click on edit site at the top right of your screen. Now, the thing with Wix here is uh, you have uh, different uh, ways to add this one. So just to give you an example, I'm going to show you the different tools that you can access here. So just wait for this one to load up. But once it actually is loaded up, let's go ahead and click on the plus or add elements option here. Let's go and just add a space here. Just give you the uh, by the way, let's go and just enable dev mode here. Turn off demo. Yeah. Let's go and click on the add section here and just to leave some space. Let's go and click on add elements. Now if you go to a box here. And if you choose the option for tabs, as you can see, there are different options for you to add menus or different uh, hover boxes, container here, a lot more. Uh, we also have the contact and forums here. We have video music. But if you visit menu anchor here and go to in page menu, as you can see, it doesn't really offer much in here. This is just an uh, anchor menu here. Uh, it doesn't give you that uh, accordion menu here option for Wix. Now the thing with this one is if you really want to have like that accordion menu effect in here, it's an app that you need to install within Wix. So uh, if you're not aware yet, to make your Wix uh, websites here lightweight, you need to install the appropriate apps to in order for certain features to work. But the great thing about Wix here is already have an app for that. You don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and click on the add apps option here at the dev side. And you want to go to app market and just type in the following. It's going to be Wix FAQ. Just press enter. Now from here, we want to go and choose Wix FAQ, which is free to install. And you want to go and click on add to site. Now it's going to just ask you if you want to install this one, but if it just skips through that. You can just wait for it. But once Wix FAQ here is installed, we can now basically start editing our FAQ. Now, this is the uh, usual format that we're looking for for an accordion menu in Wix here. Also, the great thing about uh, Wix FAQ here is it automatically adjusts to the design of uh, your uh, website here. So depending on what colors, uh, what um, in this case, fun family you're using right now, it will automatically adapt to that. So you don't have to worry about it. But just in case, if you want to change like the background, the colors, uh, you could go and choose the F Wix FAQ section here. Click on settings. And it should allow you to change a few things. Like, for example, you can go to display here. You can show the title or disable that. You can even show, uh, basically edit the uh, title for it. Like, if you're going to ask questions, you can change this to a different one. You have the show short uh, search bar here if you want to enable that. Also have FAQ categories, uh, if you want to enable like categories or FAQs only. So as you can see, you have that option as well. And also you have like a select which FAQs to show here. You have the like social share options as well. If you want to change the layout, you could go to layout here. You could choose the height or you could fit text. I uh, could also like, choose the classic or strip option here. So there's a lot of design to choose from here. Also have the app spacing, regular or compact, uh, text alignment and app direction. So you can also like, choose some settings here. Like first, I want to show the first answer, show one answer at a time, or enable scroll animation. So I have the design here, like oh, the header and background design. You also have the question and answer design as well. You can change the link uh, in answers as well, and icon for it. So there's a bunch of customization that you could really do. But just in case you have, if you have any uh, problems here, you could go to support here, and you could uh, view the FAQs for the FAQ app here, just in case, like if you have, if you have any problems. You could also contact my customer care here, just in case. But yeah, how do we edit the actual content for it? So in this case, you want to select the actual section here that you want to uh, edit or manage your FAQs. Click on Manage FAQs. Should open up your dashboard, which should allow you to edit or modify the details that you may want to uh, add in here or modify. So first we have general. 
So again, like we since we've chosen the option here for uh, for categories, this is what we are going to see. So we have general here. We have the questions and the answer for it. Now, the thing with this one is, generally speaking, if you want to add like a category, you just need to click on Add New at the top right and just choose Category, and you have your own category here. Let's just say the sample category. Click on Save. Now, if you want to add a FAQ, click on Add New FAQ here, and let's just say, uh, uh, what are your products? And you can just uh, basically add a question for it. And you could also add the uh, answer on it at the bottom section here. Now, the great thing about this one or the app itself is you can add like photos, you can add a gallery here, YouTube videos, and a lot more. Obviously, there are a lot of things that you could do here. Let's just say this uh, sample answer. Now, obviously, you can add your own, uh, in this case, answer to it. You could also choose assign this FAQ. Uh, FAQ to a category, so since we added it to a category, just in case you want to change this last minute to a specific category, you could go ahead and do that. You could also add your own category here by this window, but once you're done, you could go and click on save here. Now, yeah, as you can see, we have our sample category here with our sample questions with our sample uh, answer. Now, you could also click on the three dot option here and you can copy the link for it. You can move the category, you can duplicate the category, or even edit the category just in case. Like even edit this via uh, via the option here. Click on edit. Same thing. You just you can just edit the category. Now, if you want to hide or you want to preview uh, the category, you can go and click on preview, and this is what it's going to look like as you can see right now. And yeah, if you want to edit the other um, FAQs here, you can go and do that. Click on edit. Same thing. Uh, you can go and do other things. Let's go and click on leave. So yeah. Also, the great thing about this one is you can also edit the uh, category itself. You can go ahead and rename, add an FAQ by this way, and same thing. You can delete or duplicate. Now, great thing about this one is you can also create uh, via AI here. So this, uh, this is quite experimental still. Now, you can ask or talk, interact with the AI here, and it will give you options or allow you to create FAQs for your website. Obviously, this is just optional, something additional that you can do. But let's go and view our FAQ here, or our, uh, in this case, accordion menu here in Wix. It's going to update that, and as you can see, we have the what are your product sample uh, answer. And yeah. Now, you could go and click on manage FAQ. Obviously, you could add uh, other stuff here as well if you want to. Again, this is just sample information general. So, yeah, so that's about it. So those are the things that you need to know here to set it up. As you can see, yeah, sample category, general, and setting up your FAQs. Uh, this is how you see it. But yeah. So hopefully this video was able to help you. And like and subscribe to LenApp. Thank you for watching.